Have you ever gone to a home, and maybe this is even a multi-million dollar home, and things just didn't feel right? Maybe even a little bit unsafe or awkward, cramped, just loss of order. What is it that puts you on edge? What I'm gonna talk about here are some primal instinctive design tips for your home, which will include some timber framing tips, but in general, just what speaks to us on a primal level, that connection, that belonging. Before we move on, we notice that about 3% of you are subscribing and liking these videos. I'd like to bump that up. Should we try to double it? Producing the content, let's try to double it. Okay, so the first tip here is about presentation or about the feel when you're just moving around, when you're, especially when you're approaching a home. And this can involve the siding of your home, but if you come down, 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 down to your home, really work hard to elevate your foundation so that at the very end, come up. There's something about moving up. We want to move up in life. We want our wage to increase. We want to move forward. Something about moving up on a steady climb feels great. So it feels safe. Another thing that feels really safe in a home is the back patio, some place where you can kind of have a wall to your back, especially if you've got substan substantial timbers, you're very secure and you're looking out. You can sit there, you're king of all that you see. It feels good. Maybe not the king of all you see, but it's very secure, safe, and that resonates. On a smaller example, if you happen to be constructing a window seat or a nook of some kind, a reading cubby, do not put it at chair level. It's gonna feel good sitting, but it's gonna feel terrible here. And the reason it's gonna feel terrible is because people walk by a nook. You're not sitting around a table with other people. People are walking by and they're taller than you substantially. And if you don't get up a little bit, you feel trapped. Rather than feeling cozy and safe, you feel trapped. Like, Ugh, what's gonna go on here? So it's just a psychological, primal, instinctive thing to keep in mind when you're designing your home. Another thing that can feel like a trap, which is about balance, space, flow, and function. With balance, you might come to a front of a home where a big gable truss is kind of over the garage. And rather than add to the presence and the decor and the feel, it feels off. And generally what will be happening is there's not enough visual balance. And when a timber truss is projected out from a wall, you need to work hard to make sure that that feels grounded and balanced. You can feel like this big looming boulder that's just gonna topple on you in any second. And that's, doesn't work. Sometimes it can be caused with too much massing. If the designer has a ham-handed approach and just eight by 12, eight by 12 or 16 and bang, bang, bang. They don't bring the bottom court up to alleviate some massing. Sometimes the king post is even tapered to that center piece of the truss can have a lot of mass. If you can put some of that mass down at the bottom of that timber truss, it can do a lot. It makes it feel like, okay, that boulder is not gonna just roll and fall on me, right? So there's all kinds of psychological cues with massing, with the visual presentation that is very important to creating psychological safety. In a great room, kind of the opposite might be true. If you have a big space where you like to house a lot of people, and what are you gonna do when you have an intimate group of say four or six or eight? How are you gonna handle that? Timber framing has been a solution for a lot of these situations. You can get a high ceiling, but you can bring the warmth down. The timbers, how far they come down, you can bring the timbers down the wall. You can bring the posts all the way down. That's gonna create a real rustic feel. You can put wood on the ceiling. You can put stone on the walls. There's a lot of ways to bring visual mass and that, that warmth and that security piece into making a big high space bring it back to human scale where you feel that security. On the opposite side of that, you can have a space that is just simply too cramped. 
doesn't have enough headroom, doesn't have enough everything about it feels cramped. There's probably not enough windows there as well. That's another thing that's gonna make things feel off. Even if it's a multi-million dollar home, if these don't get right, it's a bad investment. The next thing that is really important with psychological safety is simply order. So that's visual hierarchy is gonna be your biggest cue to feeling order. If you come into a room or you approach a home and your eyeball is pinball, they don't know really what's going on, that is disorder, it doesn't feel right. That's a huge thing with curb appeal, that's one of the places that people have had a huge payoff with applying artistic timber framing because it just does so much for the ah. Oh, when you come home, when you see it, it's worth more. Part of what is not seen is canvas prep. So timber framing looks great. Some people that gives a thumbs up on. What people are not seeing is the roof slope, the wall height, the post distance, base, other sometimes the main roof needs to increase in height. So you have more mass, the context fits. So if you imagine a 1200 square foot home with a three car porte cochere coming off the front of it, that's going to look like socks on a rooster. It's not gonna fit. It's gonna be way too overpowering. Visual hierarchy, very important. It all begins and starts with you with having a cohesive, coherent theme. What are you trying to accomplish? The two things that you need to do to get that done is you need to define where you wanna go. In our book, we have a chapter on creating your decision compass. So that's gonna help you with all of your decisions from A, clear over to Z, okay? Go there, it's a free download, all you need is your email. And the second thing is also in our book, chapter four, it's about hiring right for you. So that means investment. Do they roll well for you? Do they see your vision? And can they get you where you wanna go? Are they gonna be the right guide? And there's tips in chapter four for you as well there. So you've got presentation, how does it feel, okay? Then you've got the flow, the human scale, you've got visual hierarchy, and you've got proportions. Getting that psychological safety and security, getting that order, you can't go wrong if you do that. And the best way to get there, figure out Take a rough draft shot at where you want to go. Don't try to be perfect because you will redefine it most likely. Like, subscribe. There's Timber Frame Magazine online. There's a book like we mentioned. Tons of photos. AeroTimber.com. We'll see you on the next one.